take a look at the market this morning. Pretty much uh, flat, a little bit below yesterday's close. Yesterday was a uh, very tight range, not much happened. It's almost like it's waiting for some big news to, to hit before it makes its next big move. But if it goes over this area here, if it goes over 280, area, that's it. We're probably going to go much higher, I think. Our watch list, we got uh, quite a few movers this morning. A lot to the upside, a lot of earnings plays. WTW, big hit. Big hit this morning. Mylan, too. On the upside, Best Buy, great earnings. Uh, TNDM, this thing got a big boost. But we'll see what the market offers us this morning, and we'll trade accordingly. SRPT. Just got in it, did not hit the record button till just now. All right, we're gonna take this right here if we can. All right, we're out. We're out for about um, 80 cents. Oh, and look at the thing drop. Ah, oh, that stinks. That stinks. Oh, and look at that thing drop. I can't believe I missed all that. I had got in the trade, but I wasn't recording. And then I pressed the record button. The thing just went so fast, I didn't even get a chance to discuss the trade. But the daily was not good for a short. Look at that thing. It was climbing. But it was so extended, and it was starting to tip over after it tried to go up. And I took it short. I took it short at 150, and... Uh, I took it down for 80 cents and look at that thing. It went all the way down to 147. I got out at 149.10. But yeah, we took about 80 cents on that first opening trade. DHR, I think this thing's going to drop. We're going to take it for a short here at the ask. All right, we're in. We're in at 125.20. This thing is up, so it's uh, a pretty risky trade, but it's right here at this very critical area here so if it cracks this area here this thing will drop a point real fast and here it comes let's take a look oh it's coming down I'd like to take it somewhere below 124.50 maybe more bring this up close it's risky because it's up it's not does not look good for a short but it's so extended that I think once it cracks 125 here, we'll get a nice flush, and we'll take it. Stop loss will be over 125.50. It's taking some time here, though. I don't like that. Plus, the market's shooting up, so that's not good either. DHR, it's not looking so good here. We're going to wait for a pullback, and then we'll come out of it. Unless it has a nice pullback, then we'll stay in it. It's just above our stop area. You know what, we're going to come out of this. We're going to come out of this right here for a loss. All right, we're out. We're out for a 50 cent loser on this. Market's climbing. I wanted a pullback. Market's climbing, so this thing is probably going to go higher. It was dropping here. I wanted it to crack this area here and flush, and it didn't, so we took a loss on it. SRPT. This thing looks like it wants more downside, so we're going to take this short here one more time. It's not going to hit us. We'll cancel that. TNDM, we're going to take this for a short here. This thing looks really extended. Market's starting to drop. Try to take this at the ask here if it gives it to us. It's not going to give it to us. Ah, oh, that stinks. And it's dropping. All right, we'll cancel that for now. Oh, look at that thing drop. Oh, would have been a point easily. Mylan, we're going to take this for a short right here at the ask if it gives it to us. This thing looks great for a short. All right, we're in. We're in at 26.98. Day looks good for a short. It's been dropping for a few uh, trading sessions now. It had bad earnings yesterday. And uh, intraday, it drops, gaps down, and then it flushes. 
Now it's being bought up a little bit. It's well over the nine here, so I'm thinking it's going to turn around and probably go right back down to uh, probably below 26. It went to this critical support area here and it bounced right off of it. So, but this is a big gap, so I'm thinking it's going to run out of gas here. Maybe it'll go up a little bit more, but all in all, I think it turns around and drops. Stop loss will be over 27.50. And target, I like it below uh, maybe 26, 25 area. Market starting to tip. MYL starting to tip here. Let's take a look at this thing up close. Market's dropping. MYL got about 20 cents, close to 20 cents on it. All right, here it comes. Mylan. I'm not liking this trade here. We're going to come out of this right here if we can. All right, we're out. We're out for about uh, 15 cent, 10, 15 cent gainer on it. Oh, and well now it's going to drop. Yeah, I was just seeing the market drop and that thing wasn't dropping. Looks like it was ready to go up. That's all right. TNDM, this thing looks like it's starting to drop here. Let's take this short right here. All right, we're in. We got 100 shares. All right, we'll stay with the 100. And if it goes up, we'll pick up another 50. Daily does not look good for a short, but it's so extended that you're going to have a lot of profit taking. And it's a good size mover. Uh, target, I like it below 62.50. And stop loss, well, we'll pick some more up if it goes up. We'll pick some more up. All right, we'll take this right here if we can. All right, we're out. We're out for about 61 cents on this. We only had 100 shares. I'll take that. Because it's a risky trade because it's up for the day. And if you're going to jump on these short, you, wanna, you want it to be a scalp. You don't want to go and wait for it to drop. A huge amount because chances are it's gonna go up you know especially if the market starts to go up look the market was downtrending so it gave me an opportunity to jump in it while it was downtrending but now the market's waking up so most likely this stock will wake up and shoot but that's gonna be it for me today I don't really see anything else I like and I don't really like taking I'm not really crazy about taking shorts on stocks that are up so much but there is a good uh, opportunity to get a quick scalp in when that happens. But you got to be kind of quick, I think. We're up 138. Let's take a look at the trades. Just four trades, three winners and one loser. Our uh, biggest winner on SRPT and our loser on DHR. Thanks for watching.